All right, so would you explain like what you do in both professionally and for your hobby? Um, what do I do professionally and for my hobby? Well, professionally, I suppose I'm a teacher. Um, <laughs> but as far as my hobby, I'm a I'm a martial arts instructor for the International Bujinkan Dojo. It's headed by Masaki Hatsumi in Japan, uh, who is the really the last surviving, uh, really the last surviving legitimate heir to any ninjutsu schools um, that's still alive. So um, his uh, Bujinkan is the only school that hasn't kind of an unbroken line that hasn't been revitalized. So it's a very old school of martial arts. And a lot of it is centered around samurai warfare. How many schools are there? Nine? Uh, Bujinkan, yeah. Bujinkan okay. is, there's a total of nine. I'm sorry, there's a total of nine in the Bujinkan. You have Yokoru, Kotoru, and Tagakure, which are called the, they're called the Iga Den. Yoko, Koto, and Tagakure, those are called the Iga Den. Um, then you have Shinin Fuduru, Kukushinden, and Takagi Yoshin, which are all three samurai schools. Um, and then you have Gyokushinru, which is another ninjutsu school, Kumagakure, which is a ninjutsu school, and Gikan, which is bone breaking and stuff like that. So, all right, cool. so those are the nine schools. And, and your focus? Which one is your focus? Um, my primary focus is Gyokuru. Um, I, I focus on Gyoko because it tends to be kind of more the foundation. Do any of the other schools, you really do need a strong foundation in Gyoko. And I think that just comes from the fact that I'm a teacher by profession. So that's I, that's what I tend to do is I focus on Gyoko more than any of the others. You started this when? Uh, high school? Yeah, probably about two years before your students were born. <laughs> <laughs> Do you walk them through, like, you could give your some of your um, training stuff. Well, my, my wife is a huge fan of this. It's, it's occupying our entire floor, at least in the basement. So, look around all over my floor. There's lots of training stuff all over the floor. Um, probably one of my favorite is this right here, which is called the Kyoketsu Shogi. It's this. It's got like an 18-foot rope with a weight on the end for hitting people with. That's one of my favorites. Is this is Kodama. Caused me to have a cancer scare for a year. I think I remember that. <laughs> yeah, it was no fun. Here's a couple of my swords. Okay, hold on the picture. The only, kind of the, the only two that I have at my house right now. Say what? So the picture got kind of fuzzy like it was skipping. So the, these are my swords. And in this box that I'm about to get into is a lot of the ninja stuff that I've got types of clothing. This is probably one of the rarest items. And this is what's called a kunai. About as long as my forearm. Like here. Okay. Alright, in a lot of cartoons you'll see that weapon used as like a throwing weapon. You can throw it. That is definitely not the best use for it though. Um, it's primarily used as like a digging tool. Like to dig underneath the castle wall. Or if really, if somebody's coming after me, I'd club them over the head with it. If I'm really desperate, I might throw it at you, but then I'm probably going to run, too. So, Here's another fun toy. I did not to hurt myself out. <laughs> These are called Tiko Kage. And they do exactly what you think they would do. One of the important features about this is how it's kind of guarded the back of the hand. You can actually use this in order to, like, yourself from the sword strike and you got a little claw here this is another tool it looks kind of similar except for the claws are on the hand Let's see if I can pull it out um they're used for climbing castle walls okay what was the last picture you saw you were pulling it out but we didn't quite get a good look at it but you know what when we're done talking if you take a picture with your phone and send it to me I can superimpose it in the video so they can get a clear picture of it. I wish I had nearly the tech skills you do. <laughs> I'm <laughs> learning. <laughs> Got another toy out in my car, I think. Took it camping with me. There's another tool that looks similar to similar to this pipe with that end. So anyway, I have a tool.
tool is about half the size of this. Um, it's basically a method for ninjas to carry fire. Um, and they would do that by a char claw and basically igniting that char claw and they could carry it with them. And it would basically form, um, but it also would provide them embers for starting fire or lighting fuses. Um, when it comes to a lot of the ninja stuff, there's really three major manuals. If you can see two of my fingers there. Um, one is called the Shoninki, second is called the Ninja Den, and the third is called the Bonsen Shukai. I think I sent you uh, the Den Show or the uh, Ten the Kilom for uh, Tagaka Reiru uh, Tonko no Jitsu, didn't I? Yeah, it was like the beginner's guide. Here's how to hide, here's how to get away, here's how not to get caught. Um, and that comes down to what the whole role of ninja were. You know, everyone's got this kind of Hollywood perception that they're kind of like these super assassins, but that's not reality. Um, the historical reality of ninja were more in line with recon. I mean, their job was to gain information and get it back to their lord so their lord could formulate battle strategies. That's it. Um, you know, uh, Sun Tzu in The Art of War says that knowledge is power, that you have to know who your enemy is to win. And that's the whole idea of what ninja were. They're there to gain information, not to fight and assassinate. They did do that, but that was kind of a last-ditch resort. Um, your ninja, he's kind of the specialist. He's the one that's going to sneak into a castle. He's the one that's going to set fires. He's going to be the one that gets information. You know, there's some, there's some jobs in warfare where you don't want a thousand people going. You want one or two. It's easier for one or two people to get away and to get information than it is to send a thousand people. Thank you. Not a problem. I'll I'll see about getting some pictures sometime tonight or tomorrow.